Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Venetian Vengeance. Bohemia is trying to peace out. They're threatening to annul their treaties with Hungary. But we want more than that. We want we can get Istria anytime we want now at this point. We can get more than just that. Maybe we can negotiate directly with um Sorry, we can get Gores anytime we want. But we want Istria. Also, Bohemia has accepted Poland's peace. All right, so apparently we have another war going, another battle going on here. Thirty-five percent chance. Come on, we need reinforcements so badly. Take it. Damn. Yes, I love that. 200 and only lose 8. Yes, please. Keep going. Reinforce. Please. Please. Please win this battle. Sixty-three percent chance still can't happen. We still can't actually get it when we need it. Okay, I think we're okay though. We're gonna win now. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. And we've taken Laika, and we get to blow up Hungary's fleet. Excellent, Hungary. Give me the damn thing. Forty-four. Ugh. Gonna make me siege even more. Look at this. Hungary has six war exhaustion, low war enthusiasm. Oh, we have seven. Holy crap. That's part of the problem. We have, um... Actually, surprisingly, we have no no real revolt risk yet. But this war exhaustion is not cool. Recruitment time is way up. Let's buy that down a couple times. Nice. We won! Take that, Hungary, Bohemia. Bohemia still sits at 60 prestige, though. Hungary's at negative 35. Okay, we leave behind the guy that's good at sieging. And something uh, to actually help out with the siege. And we take the rest, and we go north. We chase. Okay, that's good. Captured a ship. There's so many damn regiments in there. They're just going to run away and get their morale back. It's so dumb. Bohemia still has 20,000 manpower to reinforce. Just catch them and kill them. Get them. We have a morale advantage. Come on. Get him! Get him! Stop running from me! Where's that guy with six maneuver when you need him? Nice! Yeah, go fight peasants. That seems reasonable. Now we're taking the negative two penalty, but um, he's weak. This seems pretty worth it, maybe. Exterminate the regiment, maybe. Maybe. This is Bohemia's army, so... Get the whole army. Come on. Just destroy it.
Oh god, look at that. Six hungry armies. With no morale. Oh, we can't catch them. Damn it. Damn. Get him. How many is that for Bohemia? It's a lot. I know that. It's a lot. Get him. Just kill him. Blow them up. Where are they going? Goddamn months. Keep ticking and they get morale back. No! Now they're going to get morale and then we have to fight them again. And we apparently just lost this... What? We lost a battle? I guess part of my army arrived first, early, and then just got obliterated instantly? That must be what just happened. Losing eight gold a month. Sweet. Sweet. Taking back Tyrol. That's good, but doesn't really help us to beat Hungary. We need war score against Hungary. And not very much. These battles are going so poorly. We have to get out of here. We just have to retreat. It's just not going to work. God, I hate the Shattered Retreat mechanic. It's so stupid. It's just like, oh. So you Shattered Retreat to a completely random location. And depending on when the month ticks, you either get to obliterate their entire army or you get to fight an endless war. Which one, you know, roll the dice. 50-50. Good luck. Army maintenance is very high. Again. Okay, I think we do need to disband the damaged mercenary companies. We'll consolidate first. And then we're going to have to wait until they actually arrive where they're at before we can disband anything. I can't, I can't split them off yet. And never mind, we're below our force limit now, so... However, the mercenaries are still exceptionally expensive. Hmm... I think we get rid of that really damaged Latin Knight rather than pay for it to replenish. They cost triple while replenishing. And we gotta keep the army all together because we know there's gonna be one more big, huge, dumb fight. Come on, take it! Take it! Take it! Damn. Go away, Hungary. Alright, there we go. We took it. Hungary, it's totally reasonable for you to just give us the damn province! Okay, they took a crossing penalty. They've got their 4-4. Four, four. They're slaughtering us before we can even reinforce. Awesome. Wow, did we just get trashed. What BS. Alright, I hate you so much, Hungary. Yes, just give us the province. You suck. Hmm. Negative 11 reasons. Demands exceed war score. we would need to actually take their capital to do it. Alright, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of fudging about trying to get this extra province. I think we just take the one and we call it good. So we want Gores because that's the whole purpose of this war. Jesus. And of course you're poor as hell so you can't give me any money. So we'll just make you annul a bunch of treaties. No more treaty with Hungary. No more treaty with Bavaria. 
or Bosnia, or Brandenburg, or Anhalt. And that'll have to do. Oh, the further we get away from the mountains, the less we can actually do. Now, unfortunately, this is probably Imperial Territory, so it's about to be, uh... I just remove it from the HRE to core it first. Nasty. Nasty business. So here comes the, the extra revolt risk. You know it's coming. Please let me stay at peace for like a while, maybe? Just a little while. I feel like another coalition's about to fire. You know, it's about time for that. So I took the mission to take Istria, and now we have to wait five years. We're at 100 Republican of Tradition, so it makes perfect sense to me, I think, to keep this guy. Oop, we have 11 ships here. They're not supposed to be part of that. So, hey France, how come you're never involved in my wars anymore? I would really like to know. Meanwhile, Bohemia is fighting rebels, so... The Bohemian noble rebels... They have already revolted. They field professional troops with a large proportion of cavalry. Well, they've already revolted, so we can't actually support it. Okay. Well, what if we... sow discontent? And then we do the same nonsense to Hungary. Hopefully with their really high war exhaustion, they have lots of uh, stuff. So, you will support the rebels with this amount each month. The values calculated from the revolt size and the current and recruitment costs in every province they may revolt in. Total revolt size 3. Okay. Baseland maintenance factor. Maramos. So this apparently has a revolt risk. Let's just try it for a second. It's only 0 0.41 gold. And then I also want to, in a month, send uh, send this army to infiltrate administration just so we can take a look at it and see what it actually looks like. Okay, as far as mercenaries go, um, I'll certainly disband the ones that need to heal up because they're expensive. We'll keep our own dudes. Spending far, far too much money. Mercenaries cost 0.4. We need... Okay, let's upgrade our, our troop type now. And naturally, I probably have thousands of gold in debt. 1458, sweet. At least it's only 2%, thank God. Um, get that revolt risk down. And let's core this right away, because we know that the Emperor is going to ask us to give it back. He's like, so that land you just took, could you please give it back? No. Absolutely not. There it is, see? I, you suck so bad. No. Go to hell. And we're definitely going to have to spend harsh treatment to get this stupid province under control, because the whole Roman Empire is a jerk. It's a very big jerk. All right, let's send that diplomat to infiltrate administration, check out their province. So this is the one that we're funding. Revolt risk is at 8%. Foreign support for rebels, 4.5. So we're currently supporting rebels. We should sow discontent here as well, if possible. That would give an extra 1%. Hungary is so weak. God, 
It's so in it's just so frustrating that you can't just due to the stupid mechanic where they just run away and then come back that we weren't able to just trash Hungary. So discontent. Okay, so now your revolt risk is what? Even higher? 9%? Anybody else? No, nope. they're very legitimate. They have positive stability. So it's all, it's just, it's just the one. They, they got their war exhaustion down really quick. What about you? Alright. Let's just cancel all activities then. We're not going to be able to do anything to them, I think. I'm not going to pay for one province to revolt. I want to mess up Bohemia. So first off, let's infiltrate. Let's check them out. Their war exhaustion's really far down now as well. Hmm. Nothing to do there. I guess maybe we spend our guys doing peaceful things for a while. Like getting rid of some of the negative opinion for the coalition stuff. I'm outraged. Okay. Plague! <laughs> Damn it. This game hates me. Okay, well... As long as the coalition doesn't fire and we can maybe get things back under control, we might be okay. Oh wait, gotta keep that army there for the revolt risk reduction, that's right. And Augsburg has insulted me. Shock. We could vassalize Tuscany, or sorry, annex Tuscany. Get some free cores and then remove it from the empire. empire. We need to improve relations with them back up to 100, though. It's probably more important than some of these guys that are already capped off. What about our other vassals? I assume then that we could probably also annex you. We could. Might make more sense to do this one, because then we'd get the full value of that gold mine. And both of them are in the node, where Tuscany's not. Yeah, this makes more sense. We're not going to vassalize the Palatinate because they're an elector, but this guy. Okay, in that case, uh, never mind, Tuscany, stop improving relations there. Improve relations here. Not to mention, he's already at 118, so that is not that far off, actually. Although, being a Holy Roman Empire member, he's all pissy with me for the unlawful territory. I think we need to expand away from this nonsense. Like, maybe find a way to actually attack the Ottomans. And we can steer trade toward our... God, 57,000 troops. Yikes, yeah, let's just go attack the Ottomans. We can handle them. 68 ships. However, Bosnia... Bosnia here does not have very many ships. And I believe, oh shoot, we did have a we did have a core or something on that for a while, but now it seems to be gone. Yeah, we never did actually van uh, accept, finish the annexation there, so we don't have a core. Bosnia. 
Bosnia, you suck. Nexos, I remember that was part of ours at one point. <laughs> Nexos is on its own still. That's weird. Maybe it'd make more sense to try to attack like Naples or something. Because like Naples isn't part of the coalition. They're not that upset, really. No, we can't attack anybody. Just don't attack anybody. That's the deal. Take the inflation. Repay, repay, repay. Okay, try to get the loans under control. Lower maintenance ever so slightly and hope that the damn coalition doesn't fire again. And maybe even disband some of the more expensive mercenaries. Here, let's just do this. Detach mercenaries, select mercenaries, new unit. They're all just men at arms. Okay, we just gotta do it. And we gotta build up some of our own guys that aren't sucky. I'm stressed. A little stressed out. That's a lot of loans. <laughs> Makes me nervous. Especially when you know that the next next war is coming sooner than you'd like. Hey, one person finally left the coalition. What would be even better is if France actually came to our defense for once. We're going to guarantee France. Okay. Alright, well I'm going to take a break for a little bit. Papal States left the coalition. Thank goodness. How many people are in the coalition now? Only five! Siena is still outraged. Let's improve relations with Siena further, faster. Get them to not be outraged, and then maybe they'll leave the damn coalition, and the coalition will die. Savoy. Improve relations with Savoy. Okay. Diplomatic relations, minus one. No surprise there. And our coring. It's going to take a few years. Two more years. Two and a half. Okay. All right. Yep, yep. So there we go. Oh, it's, it's a conquest war. Thank God. Yeah. Awesome. We can take you into conquest war. What the hell are you thinking? You think your alliances are going to help you? Hungary's got a truce. France is on my side. They'll come to my defense. They better. They inform us that because of their superior might, they've assumed the war. On my side, right? Thank God. Okay, fine, whatever. Just win the war. I don't care. Ooh, that scared me. I thought I thought France joined in against the war on the war. All right, I'm gonna take a break here though. I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.